Now, the next step, <clears throat> you want to look, we're going to solve this top middle layer. And you want to look around and, until you see two corners that match up. Okay? There. I have two that match up. Now, you're going to have two cases here. You're either going to have two that match up or none that match up. If you have two that match up, put them on the left side over here. And remember, we're still turning this side to see how it's flipped over like this. So, you want to put them on the left side. And you want to do the, uh, the corner swap, which is over there too. And the corner swap might seem kind of long, but it's really not that bad. You do the, uh, the slot corner algorithm. Okay. And then you do a U prime and a down. And then you do the corner swap in reverse. Then you turn it back and turn it back. And if you look, now your corners are all lined up. Match, match, match. And these are still perfectly good. They're still all good. Alright. Now the next step is to switch these middle edges. This one's okay. But you have the orange one here, needs to go here, the green one needs to go here, and the blue one needs to go over here. Now in this particular case you can use a PLL to fix these seems how it's the uh, clockwise corner cycle or edge cycle but uh, if you don't know any of the PLLs then just do the uh, adjacent edge switch which is over there which is edges on the front and on the right we're gonna switch these two by doing that algorithm and that algorithm might seem kinda long but it's actually pretty easy it just goes right up, right, up, right, up to, right, up to, and then you do the corner slotting algorithm. And it switched these two. So now we have orange switched with green, so now orange is in there, and red is in there. And now you come across the case where you need to switch this one and the back one. So there's only two algorithms. One algorithm switches these two, and one switches these two. Now switch these two, this one's really easy. It's right, up to, right, up to, right, up to. Now they're switched, you're good to go. Now you'll notice that we've finished and these two edges are switched. This is what I call parity. Now there's an algorithm to fix it. You can either do it now or wait until the end and do it then. But uh, I think I'm gonna do it now. That way I could show you the parity algorithm and it'll it'll fix these and then we won't have to worry about it the rest of the solve. Alright, to do the parity algorithm, hold it so the two pieces that need to switch are in the front like this. Okay, see so you got the blue over here and the green over here. These two need to switch. Parity algorithm, it's pretty easy. It goes like this. Top two, R two, front two. And you go up to, up to, and then you do it backwards. Front two, R two, up two. And there. Now it's fixed. Now we have the first, the middle three layers complete. Now, you should be able to go through and solve the rest of these layers the same exact way as you just solved these ones, using the same algorithms. Okay? Except the only difference is you need to get your cross on the bottom in the correct color scheme. So I know looking at my cube with yellow on top, I know it goes blue, red, green, orange. So you need to get your cross pieces in that order. So the first one's blue. There's blue. Okay, so I know red needs to go here. So I look around and I find the red edge piece, and it's right there. So I'm going to be using this right side to be turning over and over to get my cross pieces the way they need to be. So I'm going to move this over to here and move that red on top. Okay? Now, I'm going to move this back because I know blue is here and red needs to be here. So I put red on the bottom. So it goes blue, red. Now green needs to go here. So I'm going to turn that there. And there's green. Green on the bottom. Blue, red, green. Move it over. Now orange needs to go here. Orange is over here there there we go it goes blue red green orange and there's my true cross 
Uh, if your edge is flipped over again after you're done cycling these around, that's okay. Just make sure you keep turning that side. So now what we're going to do is fill in the corners, just like before. Here's blue and red. That needs to go there. By doing that algorithm, that's in there. What's next? Blue and orange. Move it over to the orange and blue spot. Alright, that's filled in. And now we got orange and green. There's orange and green. And then, oh, I did the wrong one. That's okay though. These two need to switch, so we'll get one of them out of there. Fill it in with orange and green. Move this back. Fill in the green and red. And then you should have the bottom layer solved. Okay. And like I said, if you have this, if these edges are flipped, if it's flipped over again, don't worry about it. Just keep using that one side. Now we're gonna look at the top. All right. Now I'm gonna go over a case that we didn't have before, which is where none of the corners match. It's pretty simple. You just do the corner switching algorithm once. It's gonna switch these two. Then you do that one and that one. And do it in reverse. There. Now we got two that match. Put those on the left side and you do it again. It's going to switch these two. Okay. And then we do the edge cycle to switch these. So now we just got two left. And that's it. I hope that this tutorial has been helpful. I hope you understand, understood me pretty well and get what I was trying to do. Alright, as a quick review, let's go over it again real quick. You get your, you get your uh, cross piece here in the middle on each side. Then you fill in your corners, doesn't matter which corner. Then you fill in your edge pieces. Then you continue to solve the top like you would normal, just to get them all normal on the top so you can rotate freely. Then you fill in your corner pieces in this layer on each one. <clears throat> then you're going to switch your corner pieces up here. You put the ones that match on the left and do the algorithm. Then you switch your middle edges around. And then you do the same thing for the top layer and the bottom layer. Alright. Now I'm going to make another video that's going to be after this that's going to go over some advanced tips and tricks for those of you who don't do the beginner's method and are a little more advanced at Frederick method. I have some tips and tricks for it. So, Alright. I hope this has been helpful. Good luck.